Hi there guys, this is a Trader's Journey. Thanks very much for joining me on my first video on my YouTube channel. Um, just to give you a bit of background as to why I've started this channel and what I'm hoping to achieve. Um, I've created this channel because I am a recent newly option options trader and I have been investing in stocks and, and trading shares for, for a number of years. But recently I've got into options trading as I've seen it to be a lot more lucrative and um, a lot more money can be made quicker within a shorter time period um, on with options trading. So I wanted to create this channel to kind of help you guys follow my journey and for any of you guys who are new to options trading or investing in general, um, hoping hoping you guys can learn a thing or two from me as I, as I document my journey into learning about how to options trade and becoming a successful trader. So if anyone anyone's new to this video or channel, make sure you hit the subscribe button and join me on this journey um, how I, as, I, as I help you guys and um, get you guys up to scratch with, with your trading journey and hopefully get involved as well with some of the trades which I do or if, if I go, go down the line of creating a community, hopefully you guys can all be a part of that. So um, without further ado, a further ado, let's get into this video. So today I'm going to be hopefully giving you guys a quick overview of the Thinkorswim application software. Now this application isn't really available for people all across the globe. Um, it's mainly used by US residents. Me, myself, based in the UK, um, I have chosen to, to use this particular software only to learn and um, learn how to trade using fake money or how it's also known as paper trading. So this application is really good for anyone looking to learn how to trade um, but not necessarily risk their own money to start with. So um, I would highly recommend this application for anyone who is looking to learn how to trade or isn't quite ready to use their own money in trading then I would thoroughly recommend this simulated trading with Think or Swim. Um, so keep in mind when you download this application, you do need to fill in some some details, but um, they they don't these details aren't used for any reason as you're only going to be simulating um, the trading, so they don't really need any of your um, actual information to open an account. Um, so it's very quick, very easy to set up the account and download it onto your PC or, or have a phone application as well. So as you can see here from the screen, um, this is what you will be presented with as you open the application. Um, it does seem quite complex at first because there's so many things sticking out here. Um, but I can assure you only a few of these things will you need to be using when you start out trading. A lot of the th additional things you can ignore um, as you're a beginner, as you're a newbie, you can actually ignore them and just focus on the main essential requirements to trade. Um, so I'll be talking you through that now and I might be getting into some of the more technical details later on in the video, but for any beginners, I'll start off um, just explaining the basics. So as you can see here on the top of the application, We've got several tabs here along the top. We've got monitor, trade, analyze, scan, market watch, charts, tools, education, and help. Now, just to cut to cut, cut it short, just to let you know, the main main tabs you'll be using will be monitor, trade, and charts. So only those three tabs will you need to be using when you're first starting out, just to get used to opening and closing a trade, for instance. So. On this particular tab, on the monitor tab, you will see here all your open trades. So if for instance you've bought some stocks or you've bought a call option or you've sold a call option or you've bought a put option, these open orders will be shown in this particular tab. So as you can see here at the top, you've got working orders and filled orders, cancelled orders and rolling strategies. So with working orders is once you've placed an order until it gets filled, into the system and actually becomes an actual trade, it will show here in working orders. Um, and then once the order gets filled and has been completed, it will then show up in filled orders. So a very straightforward, um, straightforward layout here, which should make sense to a lot of you. If any of you are confused on this particular point, leave it in the comment section below and I'll try to explain that in a bit more detail. Next up guys, we've got trade. Now, 
this trade tab, uh, when I first saw it, it looked really, really confusing. I think um, it's mainly it mainly looked so confusing because I didn't know what anything meant in terms of the numbers. But I'll try and create a complete separate video on this particular tab because it may not be as easy to understand in this first initial video. Um, so let me know if you guys would want me to make another video just explaining this particular tab in a lot more depth. But just to put it in simple terms for this particular video, this this exact screen is where you can actually place your trades. So if for instance I wanted to place a call option um, for this particular stock is beyond, if I wanted to create a call option for one 133 strike price, I would simply click on the click on the price and then I'd be presented with the particular order. Um, to complete the order, you would click confirm and send. But before I go on to do that, I'll just show you exactly what each of the um, particular particular fields mean. So this is the spread is the type of order. We're placing one single order. Um, the type we are buying it and we're not selling it. You have two two different types of options. Um, trading. You can either buy buy an option or sell an option. On this next field we've got the number of contract units. So if for instance I selected one, one contract, one option contract equals 100 shares. So, it, so whatever price you see of the contract of 395, just know that you'll be paying 10 times that price because that is basically the price of one but you're timesing it by 100 because each contract um, controls 100 stock. So if, if for instance I went to confirm it, as you can see here, this confirms what I had said, um, 395, which is 10 times the price of one. Of one. But because we're, by, we're controlling 100, we would always times that price by 100. So price, as, as I'm onto that already, the price is the price of the contract, which is pretty self-explanatory. Um, the type you can have call or a put as you guys know in options trading so you can select that there um, the expiration date 22nd of May 2020 um, this one's particular this particular trading is weeklies um, you can have weeklies or monthlies um, and then beyond is the stock which I'm trading strike price which is 133 um, so all of this I'll try and get into a lot more detail in the following video which I make for the channel um, but just, to, just for the basis of this, to confirm and send the audit, you would simply click confirm and send. This gives you a final check on what is happening, what is happening with the particular order you're making. And then if you're happy with the screen, you would simply click send. You would click send and then what would then happen is it will end up in your monitor screen. This is where I mentioned your working orders. So until the order gets completely filled and finalized, it will show here in your working orders. So let me see if I can do that now just to show you guys what that looks like. So now I've sent it. There it is. It's, it's showing up in the working orders. Now the market's currently closed as I'm making this particular um, particular video. But so as you can see, it's gone from the working orders and it will remain in the working orders up until the stock market opens. Um, but if we were in a live situation, this would go through the working order and usually in roughly a few seconds, it would then get filled. If for whatever reason the stock price has jumped and the the options price in which you would press buy has changed, then sometimes your working order will not get filled. This is a particular issue for Think or Swim, this Think or Swim application, which is why once I've passed this simulation process of understanding and um, perfecting my strategy of options trading, I will then go on to a live account with Tastyworks. Tastyworks is a complete new, different platform to Think or Swim, um, but the good news is with that particular platform, they fill orders very quickly. Um, so that that will help my confidence when placing orders. Um, at the moment, Think or Swim takes, there's been a lot of complaints with it, particularly with um, people who I know trade. They know it's been taking a very long time to fill orders, which, which which in the long term will make you lose money. So um, so that's those two tabs. Um, that's the very basics of it. Um, on this particular tab as well, just to mention, you've got different columns of numbers and information. Now you have got your bid or ask price, which is pretty self-explanatory. 
you've got your calls on your left and your puts on the right. Now, what you can do here, which is which is a feature which I really like, but most platforms offer this feature anyway, so I wouldn't get stressed out if your particular platform doesn't, particular def platform is different, sorry. They will definitely have these particular fields which you can put in. So what I usually do is you can go you can go through here and select different Greeks and theoreticals or numbers and and different valuation methods um, of of a particular stock. Um, delta, gamma, all the Greeks are there. Vega, rho, um, theta, gamma, delta. All of these particular um, sort of um, instruments are available on this particular platform which are really good to get used to in your beginning stages of options trading. I will make a complete separate video on these on the Greeks because they are very very important to people who are options trading. Um, so yeah this this sums up pretty much the trading tab um, so it, there's not much else really to cover here other than the basics which I've mentioned um, but Monitor and trade are probably the two most regular tabs which I use on this platform. Um, okay, so thirdly, I won't cover off the other tabs which aren't really useful when you're beginning in this beginning to options trade or try this out for the first time. So the next most relevant and most important tab is charts. So if I was just to click here on charts, you will see the graph which, which gets presented here. Now, um, what I like to do when I'm trading, I like to select different a different sort of layout. I like to have three different stocks up here. Now these three stocks, they you you can you can basically say for for instance on this first graph I'm looking at beyond. Um, to in order to change that, you would simply type the initials of the stock. Or the abbreviated initials of the stock, for instance, SPY, and you select enter, and then the graph would would then just show up there. Um, so I can put in here, for instance, Tesla, a very common stock. If any of you are aware of it, um, so Tesla, and then I can maybe put in here, I don't know, Microsoft. Microsoft. There we go. So as you can see here, we have three graphs. Um, now this this is the graph of the stock price. Um, say for instance I wanted to see a longer time range or a shorter time range I would simply select here where it says D now this gives you all the different time frames in which you can look at this stock um, I like to go from top to bottom and when, when for instance when I'm doing my technical analysis so I can start on the four hour chart which goes all the way which goes these each, what I mean by four hour chart each candle on this graph would represent would represent one particular four hour four hour slot so one of these candles is four hours if for instance I wanted to maybe maybe do a quick quick trade I maybe want to look at the five minute candle or the one minute candle and you can simply flick through them and it's a very very easy to use and to flick through each of the different time frames especially like I say when you're doing your technical analysis you want to be going through all the different time ranges and um, highlighting all the key levels resistance and support and um, that's how I would go about doing my technical analysis but I would use I don't particularly do my technical analysis on this application I use um, a website called trading view which is very common amongst traders and I do my technical analysis on there so yeah I guess that's the that's the charts I, so you've got your different time frames which is very important for you as a trader there's different things here which you can go through the settings which I don't really get into so much um, there, there are some interesting features on here but I tend to keep the settings um, fairly constant and I don't try and f mess around with it too much um, so that's some of the settings you can actually flick through here and there's some time frame setups um, you can go through again there's some more settings but I don't really use these settings or change these settings at all um, you can change the chart type from a candle to um, to a bar for instance this would be a bar let me zoom in I don't really like viewing it other other than a candle a candle makes it really um, easy and easy to look at because 
Um, most traders, I don't, I never use the line. The line just isn't really good for for your analysis purposes. So I tend to stick to the candle. So that's that. Um, you can even change some of the drawing tools here. You, you've got drawing tools which are very helpful for doing your technical analysis. Um, as I said, I don't really use this application to do my technical analysis. Only if I'm in a rush and there's a stock I'm looking to trade on a particular day, then I'll rush to do the analysis on this particular platform. Um, so you can see here, you can set a trend line. Um, a trend line can be easily just kind of drawn. Um, let me just see how we can do that. So you simply click and then click again and there's your trend line. You can click here and you can click here. You can click here you can click here. So you can draw as many trend lines as you want. There's other different drawing tools which they have available. Um, I think they're really good. You can create a channel, you can create a regression line. Um, so there's so much you can do here. I like to use the rectangles for creating risk and reward. Um, again, if anyone's not familiar with the risk and reward strategy, I will make a new video on that one as well. Um, but there's so many different drawing tools you can use just to do your technical analysis, which I, I like to I like to try all of them. Um, especially there's ones to create create triangles, which you can just do with these trend lines. Um, you can set a price level, for instance, here. You can set a price level here. You can set a price level here. So the price level again, brilliant to do your technical analysis. Um, but yeah, I like to use that tool a lot um, just to make sure I know when to enter and exit a trade and what my risk to reward strategy is. So yeah, that, I mean that covers off the graphs and the charts in, in simple terms. At the bottom of the charts, when I first started out trading, I wasn't sure what the bottom of the charts actually meant. But this actually illustrates volume. So you can see here, um, so if I flicked on Tesla, for instance, and I went on to the one hour chart, you can see several, 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 several different lines here at the bottom indicating the volume of each particular candlestick. So if I zoom in, you can see here where there's no volume, that's clearly um, when the market's been closed. So you've got aftermarket and pre-market. Um, aftermarket is the first half of the closing period and pre-market is the next half, the second half of the closing period. The closing period on these charts, you can see are the, the periods which have been grayed out. Um, so these grayed out boxes are where the market's been closed. Um, so the further you zoom out, you can see a lot more gray, gray blocked out bits. As you zoom into the day, you can see on the one hour chart, there is plenty of movement there. Um, if you move, and then if you go straight into the one day four hour, and you zoom in on here, you can see there is not much, sorry, sorry, if we just go into maybe the 15 minute candle, or if we go to the five minute candle, you can see here on the five minute candle, there are plenty of candles um, and plenty of movement throughout the day um, on Tesla. Um, so, I mean, as a beginning platform, beginner's platform, I think this is a great way to get started, um, especially if you're not willing to risk any money and you just want to get a feel for the platform, feel for options trading and a feel for entering and exiting trades. As silly as that sounds, entering and exiting can be quite nerve wracking. So I think using a um, platform such as this that offers paper trading, it's very good. Now keep in mind guys, if you are looking to use different platforms, that's fine. But a lot of them do not offer paper trading, especially for any of you listeners here in the UK or in Europe. A lot of them do not have paper trading, um, a paper trading actual um, option. So Thinkorswim provides that, so I would highly recommend using Thinkorswim for the for for paper trading. Well, only paper trading. Um, if you're in the US, then I would also consider it as a live trading platform. But for anyone in the rest of the world, I would um, consider other other platforms. Um, so yeah, I guess that really sums up the very very basics. Obviously, there's a lot more to this platform. 
Um, I mean, on the left, you can see they've got live news, which I like to see sometimes, but I, I try to use other news outlets and news out news source um, sources for, for stocks. Um, but it is nice having that on there because there might be some news which you're able to catch, which may help with your options trading. One more point I wanted to mention, actually, on the monitor tab, you can see there's a, a value here. The cash and suite vehicle, the overall PL year to date, and the available dollars which you have to trade. So, I mean, what I like to do sometimes, I like to adjust the cash position because um, maybe if I've run low whilst I've been paper trading, I can just top up the cash and start fresh on a thousand dollars. For any of you new options traders, I've always been recommended to use to use a $1,000, $2,000 or $3,000 account when starting out. So I like to keep that consistent with my paper trading, which I've only used $1,000 um, just to get a feel for it because if you're not willing to use a lot of money in, in real life, then why should you use a lot of money in paper trading? For sure, it gives you a lot of confidence in paper trading, but I try to keep it as realistic as possible. How much would I be willing to risk in real life as I would with the paper trading and it does help to keep your um, risk to reward strategies the same when you do begin to um, trade trade live so so yeah I guess that's that covers that covers the basics to hopefully get you guys started in trading um, there is so much more to this platform but um, most of the people who I know who options trade only use these particular small particular parts of this platform they don't use everything um, maybe that's a good thing maybe that's a bad thing because maybe there's so much more they're missing out on on this particular application or software which could be more useful to them but I guess as you get started with the paper trading it's it's not it's it's not a bad thing if you make a mistake because there's no financial consequences of doing that so I would mess around with this platform and try and learn all the different areas if something goes wrong just refresh restart and start again um, and it's a really good way to get past that learning curve and um, become a better trader so I guess that kind of sums up everything I wanted to cover on this video today I hope you guys have enjoyed it and I hope it gives you a good foundation to get started on this particular platform um, just to keep you guys updated and posted I will be trying to make videos on the channel on a on every two to three days just as I progress and learn more about options trading I will put these content and video out. If anyone has any questions or comments they'd like to make, please leave it in the comment section below as I'll try and get back to every single one of you and help you guys learn and, and progress and become profitable traders. Um, so yeah, I mean, eventually the, the long-term goal of this is to maybe create a group and a community and, and maybe even come out with a course to help you guys learn how to options trade um, and teach you guys to become profitable because that's the main aim. Um, and to protect your capital investment. Um, but if anyone wants to learn about any particular area of options trading, leave it in the comment section below and I'll be sure to make a video on that particular question. Or if it's a simple question, I'll just simply respond to it and answer it in the comment section below. Um, but I really do hope this has helped you guys learn a bit about options trading um, and, and how to get started, maybe not using your real money, but using paper trading which is a great way to get started um, but yeah thanks very much if anyone's new to the video as I said make sure you join the community and and join join the trader journey which I'm on and it would be much appreciated if you could hit the subscribe button leave a like and comment as it does help the channel grow and and gain more traction so thanks very much for joining me on this video today I will catch you all on the next one thanks so much take care goodbye